Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all having a good day. If you guys are new around here, my name is Zach and this is my 2008 Ford FG Falcon. So it's been about six months since I've done one of these videos. Because my car on this channel is forever changing and I want to bring more content to you guys as to what I'm doing with my car, whether it's new wheels, whether it's suspension, I've done pretty much everything over the last six months. And one video, one video on this channel that's become outdated is my car check video. So pretty much I made a car check video and if you guys wanna watch the original video, it's in the link in the description down there. And also not only is my car changed, but I feel like I've really grown up to the camera as well. Like back then I was using a GoPro to vlog because my girlfriend took this camera. I felt really shy in front of the camera, but now it just feels so much more natural and so I just feel so much more happy. I feel like I've learned how to do it and I'm growing each day. But anyway, what I'm gonna do today is gonna recreate that video. I'm gonna go around the entire car, make a more enjoyable video for you guys and hopefully it's going to inspire some of you guys to do some of the same stuff that I did and you guys will see the work that's gone into this car all the companies that are put in pretty much I just want to show you guys around the entire thing and I uh, hope you guys really enjoy it so this right here guys is my 2008 Ford FG Falcon like I said before now a few of you guys are wondering what color this car is it's actually called breeze and the paint code is BR as I said before in one of my previous videos breeze has to be my all-time favorite color all-time favorite factory color out of any car manufacturer this right here is just Oh, on the camera it doesn't actually pick up as well but this color is actually green I'll try and color grade the footage right now so you guys can see exactly the sort of same green that we see but on the camera it always picks up blue so it probably won't work but yeah so I think we should start at the very front and work our way back so you guys can already see a few changes that have already happened to the car since the last video so already you guys can see a few changes that have happened to this car right here including the wheels but I'll get to all that very soon I'm actually unsure what these things are doing right now. Normally, like, <laughs> normally they're pretty scared of people, but they're like, that was so weird. I feel like they're surrounding me right now. For all you American guys, those birds there are called magpies and they like to sweep people in the spring. At the moment, I'm currently waiting for some plates to show up. I have some black and silver Perspex plates being made up for me at the moment. They'll be on the car probably Friday. Also on the car, I have these aftermarket black and chrome uh, halo lights. And pretty much, I'll go turn the lights on right now so you guys can see. You can't see it very well during the day, but at night and also like dusk and dawn and stuff like that, they look absolutely amazing. And if you guys could imagine, like the top of the halos actually get cut off and it looks really angry at night. I was thinking about getting some eyelids again that actually match up with this corner here and sort of come across the top. It'll chop out the top of all like the halos and it'll make it look so much meaner at the front. Along with those halos, I also have fog light projector and halos from Mars Performance. Now these are beautiful. The projector fog lights by Mars Performance actually do such an awesome job at keeping the beams low so you don't blind anyone. But yeah, I definitely recommend that upgrade considering they have halos in them too. Another thing that also hasn't changed on the car is the tinted tail lights. Now, if you guys want to watch a video on how to tint tail lights, just like those ones there, what you have to do is go to the description. Now, if you guys want to tint the tail lights the same as what I did, I actually have a video on that, which I'll link in the description so you guys can go check that out. Now, also on the car, I did actually do a tow bar delete. Um, completely got rid of that, got a new diffuser, so it looks so much cleaner. Coming around to the inside of the car now, now, if you guys don't remember in my other videos, I actually have painted these things like, I don't know, three or four times now, but I think this black is going to stay. It was actually the hardest one to paint, but it came out so nice. Also, my car has a factory push start button, and I actually really like this because a lot of the people that actually got standard XR6s, standard XR6 turbos, and and other cars like that never got the push start. So this right here is actually a factory fitted push start, which is quite annoying considering it has an FPV logo. However, most of the people that put them in their cars actually have like an F6 or GT badge here, but mine actually says XR6. Apart from that, on the interior, I actually have, I'll see if I can turn the keys on real quickly. I actually have neon lights installed up under the footwells. So when you're driving at night, it actually looks really cool having them there. This right here is the Blackview 750S, and it is an absolutely amazing dash cam. I actually have it installed on the front 
and the rear. However, on the outside of the car, you cannot see it at all. It just fits up really nice and snug in front of the rear view mirror. You can barely see it when you're driving and from the front, you just can't see it at all. It's awesome. Alrighty, so now we'll get onto the new exterior mods that I've done to my car. Now, over the last three months, I pretty much told myself that there would be no expenses spared. I want to make this car as perfect as I possibly can. I wanted to make it look as good as it possibly can, all ready in time for the turbo conversion, which will come come eventually so this is the new mods that have come to my car first of all I have this roof lip spoiler now honestly it makes it look so much meaner from the back I feel like it just breaks up the back window and the roof just makes it look like it's so much more separated and I love it now one of the biggest things you guys have all seen in all the videos is my brand new Rotogrid R's. These rims right here are the last set in Australia that I could find in this color. This color here is actually called Hyper Black and then it's got a polished lip also. It's got Hyper Black all in the barrel, all on the face of the rim. I also have polished lug nuts which I got to match the polished lip also. But all in all I just think that these rims are just the cleanest things on my car. The rims that I originally had on the car were Bertini Magics, however they were sat and black with like a polished black lip and it kind of didn't really suit the car like it looked really good and just it looked really good with just the breeze and the black however in all the photos you just couldn't see the rims at all but I'm so glad I still managed to get somewhat of a dark rim on the car where they're still looking just as clean and you can still see it in photos like oh it's beautiful and I love the way they change color as well they just go from like a really deep black to like a silver and it just looks amazing so those rims there were all ordered through my friend Matthew Jameson now this guy here has done so much work to my car I don't know if you guys have seen the videos beforehand but he was the one that ordered me all the wheels he was also the one that installed my rear camber arms which I'm gonna talk about right now so I don't exactly know how well you guys will be able to see this I'm just gonna try and shove you in my reel right now all right so if you guys can see it right here this right here is my brand new rear camber arm now this right here actually has a linkage you guys won't be able to see it because I can't take my wheel off right now it actually has a linkage right here which you can actually space out or in this knuckle right here that obviously pushes your wheel out or pulls it in so at the moment we've set up the car to have a, like an extra three degrees of rear camber and that pulls in the wheel so nice to the guard I still have to get the car aligned so it's actually going to get closer than this so If you guys can see the new fitment now, it's like amazing. So the fitment on the car will actually get close up once I finally get a wheel alignment. What I'm actually going to have done is because of the rear at the moment is actually has so much negative camber, what they'll do in the wheel alignment is they'll pull that camber back out and the more they pull it out, the closer it'll get to the guard. Now I'm going to get them to pull it out as much as they can so it misses the guard by let's say a millimetre. But I just can't get over the fitment. Now also another thing I got done was I actually got the car lowered all around on some brand new XYZ coilovers. I'm going to be doing a review video, you guys might have seen it two days ago or you might see it in two days so I don't know how well you guys can see oh you can see everything so you guys can actually see up in there I have brand new XYZ coilovers there's the rear shock in there and that's the rear spring in the boot as well so this right here would have to be the biggest change I've ever done to my car like the suspension just completely changed the way it drove in every single way shape and form if you guys want to check out the review on the XYZ coilovers I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well for that video however all I can say pretty much now is just it changed every single aspect of the way this car drove and over like bumps and divots in the road I just feel like it wasn't as bouncy and disgusting it just it just took the bump back to its normal height and sat there it, there wasn't any playing around it just instead of just going like this it just went it was amazing I hate living close to an airport now I've lost my train of thought the car is a lot lower and I have Gene Rhodes to thank for that. He was the one that set up all of my coils to the exact heights that I wanted. He also set the rebound and the stiffness. If you guys live in the Brisbane region and ever want to do anything to do with coilovers, definitely go to Gene. And he knows a lot of stuff about steering and suspension setups, so definitely chat to him. I just love how high this car sits now. Like, it's just perfect. It's just so pretty. So the biggest thing that I was most excited for about this car, you guys may know that the reason that I got this car right here and the reason that I chose an FG over a B series or an FGX or anything like that was because of this color right here, which is called Breeze. This car was the only one being sold in Australia at the time. It's a five speed auto, unfortunately. However, I had to go all the way down to Melbourne to pick it up and I live in Queensland. So that's roughly, I think, I think the last time I checked it was about 1600 kilometers away but going down, flying down and getting this car sight unseen off a 57 year old woman 
and driving it all the way back up the coast over a week and just experiencing so many amazing roads and doing everything was just the best experience that I've ever had driving. However, I knew that the color of this car was definitely something that I wanted to keep nice and I knew that it was something that's definitely going to be very hard to keep nice as well. Over the years, I've done my best at protecting the paint and I always coated it in a wax. I always polished it. However, it just never did everything that I needed it to do. And so I messaged Cody from Flash Detailing in Brisbane. I just realized that I've been walking further and further away from my car for some reason. I'm like miles away now. But what Cody did to my car was nothing short of amazing. If you guys are after anything paint related, whether it's a restoration, whether it's whether it's coating, whether it's just doing a paint correction, whether it's just doing a standard wash, make sure you message Cody from Flash Detailing. He is an absolute wizard when it comes to detailing. So anyway, I'll quickly walk you guys around the car at what sort of stuff Cody has done to it. And finally, now that it's in full sun, I can show you that there's no swirls on this car whatsoever. I love the fact that sometimes this car honestly looks like it has like a metallic satin wrap. It just looks so awesome on camera. You guys can see just how amazing the metallic is in this car. Like, it, like I just can't get over it. And and you can't see any swirl marks. How good's So across the roof and just across the bonnet and everything, you just can't see any swirl marks. I've looked so long trying to find one and he just fixed them all. So now if you guys are into more of the detailing side, I'll leave a link in the description for Cody's page on Facebook. If you guys wanna scroll through some of the stuff that he's done and, and go to the post about my car, which happened I think about three or four weeks ago, you can see how much work and effort went into making this car look just as good as it does today. We ended up doing a custom four layer coating. There's a couple of different coatings that he's used, but he's never actually used them all together before. But the things that he tried to accomplish with this car was improving the quality of the paint, so making it more durable, the clarity, the gloss, just pretty much trying to make this car the shiniest it can possibly get. And I think he definitely nailed it. <laughs> I just love how glossy this thing is. And I just love watching like all the little sun rays on the car. All right, now we're getting to some of the mechanical side of the car. Because it is just a standard FG NA6, I pretty much haven't done anything mechanical apart from what's come with the car. So the car came with a Herod intake and it also came with a Herod exhaust, which I just removed a muffler. Anyway, I'll open the bonnet so you guys can see the intake anyway. Right here, we'll just open this. Boom. So a lot of you guys at car events had actually picked on my red rocker cover. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of it. There's a lot of overspray on the top and I didn't exactly mask off to the very end. I kind of just stopped it there. But um, yeah, it wasn't a very good job, but it looks all right. It definitely gave me like 50 horsepower, trust me. It was so good. Apart from all that, this here is my Herod intake and it sounds absolutely amazing. I know that sounds weird for an NA car because I don't have a turbo. This intake right here, you can actually hear it suck in. Okay, I'll put the camera down and I'll start it now so you guys can hear that. To be honest, you probably heard my dodgy power steering pump over anything right there. But as for the engine, that's pretty much it until I do end up getting my turbo situated just down here. There's so much room for it, it just needs it. So, so many of you guys have been asking just about my exhaust. Now, the exhaust actually came on the car, so I'm not quite sure whether it's two Herod mufflers with like 2.5 inch custom piping, or whether it's a complete Herod system, whether it's a 2.5 inch mild steel system. Now, it did originally have two Herod mufflers in it, and the rest was completely stock. However, I have removed the rear muffler and put different tips on it and also because when I did that I went to a track event the next week and I actually blew my resonator because of all the extra airflow that was going through it so I ended up just deleting the resonator as well. You guys might have seen in previous videos that my car is very droney and I don't like drone. I like hearing it up high, I like hearing it down low but anything in that middle range, something between like maybe 2,000 to 3,500 RPM, I really don't like it when I'm cruising up a hill or a slight incline and my car just, just feels like it's just sluggish and slow. I really don't like that feeling. Even though it's an NA Barra and it is sluggish and slow, I don't like it feeling like that. However, I was thinking about getting maybe a resonator up the back to try and help compensate for some of that drone while making it not as. But anyway, I'm looking at this resonator at the moment called Demon Flow. I really wanted to see that thing just sitting up the back, maybe like a single exit or maybe like a twin exit. I'm not quite sure, but I really like the idea of them. I don't really know whether it's worth it to get one of them considering I don't really want my car to sound too quiet, but I also don't want it to sound too loud, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the car on right now for you. And I'm just going to rev it up, not very high because I don't want to disturb people considering I'm not even around anyone, but I don't really want to rev it that high. But anyway, you guys can just hear the exhaust anyway. Now the car is warm at the moment, so it should make for some pretty cool pops and crackles. As I said, I don't really want to rev it too high, but yeah. 
So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and also remember to subscribe for more videos about this car. I'm just going to keep working and working and working my way towards having this car as perfect as it possibly can. It will end up going turbo eventually, but at the moment it's just not something that I can afford. If there's a company out there that would like to supply me with all the turbo parts, I will like, I will cry. I will actually cry. I will do everything I can to promote your brand and just, I'll even run a big sticker up the side. Anyway guys, the Thermo fans have kicked in, so that means it's time to go. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and I will see you all very soon. Peace out.